good day today we can discuss to solve the beam problem with the relay reads method in this problem we are having the simply supported beam with the uniform distributed load in that there are two points available which are a and b the distance the span distance is l from this beam we should identify the deflection and under bending moment at mid span of the beam those two are identified with this problem so first step for conducting this problem we should aware about the approximate form of the equation for beam the approximate form we are having y is equal to summation of i is n is equal to which means n is equal to 1 comma 3 to infinity under the general approximate form a sin n by x by l which is the approximate form in that to make this uh, series more simple means i can convert this general approximate form into simple form which is the second step so deflection the deflection approximate form for simply supported beam deflection y is equal to i can frame as like a1 sine first n is 1 so that sine pi x by l plus the second term a2 because another term 3 available a2 sine in the place of n i can substitute 3 so that sine 3 pi x by l this is the approximate form i can utilize this solve this problem in this a1 and a2 available the a1 and a2 are called as ritz parameter in relay Ritz method problem. So these two or should be identified. How can we identify these two? Yes, with the aid of potential energy of the beam formula of the beam. What is the potential energy of the beam? Which means pi. Pi is potential energy is equal to u minus h which is the formula in this u means strain energy u is strain energy and another term available which is h h means work done work done by external force work done by external force those are important to solve the problem with the Rayleigh's Ritz method. In that first term U and the second term is work done by external force. So here we should aware about how do we identify U and how do we identify the H in this method. Let's see. First I have to have solved U value. After that I can move to H value which is the lengthy problem. So you should watch the video slowly and understand the thing. Okay. Now I can clear the board from this I can move to next step. The next step is strain energy due to beam. So the next step I want to identify the strain energy in the beam. So what is the formula for strain energy of the beam? Yes, the strain energy can be determined through U is equal to E into I by 2 with the integral of 0 to L into 0 to L into the formula of d square y by dx square whole square into dx which is the formula for identifying the strain energy here how can we identify the d square y by dx square in previous step i told what is the deflection the deflection i can be can identify with the y is equal to a1 sin pi x by l plus a2 into sin 3 pi x by l so 
in strain energy equation we should identify the d square y by dx square from this approximate form so how can we identify yes now first i can differentiate the term y term with respect to x so dy by dx is the initial step in that what is dy by dx here you see a1 is constant so that i rewrite a1 what happens with the sine pi x by l that if i differentiate sine pi x by l means i can get cos pi x by l cos pi x by l into pi by l which is the formula which means sin ax is equal to a into cos x cos ax here i get the thing the same thing with this here the a term is pi by l so that pi by l into cos pi x by l i got okay after that what happens the next is term a2 into here also if i differentiate with respect to x of sin 3 by x by l means i can get a2 cos 3 pi x by l into 3 pi by l so likewise i can get okay so now i can simplify the term again I can do so e1 pi by l I can move forward this pi by l term after that cos pi x by l plus e2 what happens the 3 pi because I move 3 pi by l in front so e2 3 pi by l into cos 3 pi x by l likewise I can get after that I can move to next step with the again differentiate the term because I need d square y by dx square for the reason I may again differentiate with respect to x so this term is uh, called as d square y by dx square here what happened if I differentiate cos x means with respect to x I can get minus sin x so here you see the term I can introduce minus minus a1 pi divided by l cos term differentiated with the x means it can be converted it into minus sign for the reason in front of the term I introduce minus symbol after that sign pi x by l into again pi by l which is the uh, differentiation formula after that what happens the second term a2 3 pi by l available if i differentiate cos with respect to x means minus sin x i got so that i convert this plus symbol it into minus symbol minus a2 3 pi by l into cos may be converted into sin 3 pi x by l into 3 pi by l likewise we can perform the differentiation function so the d square y by dx square can be written as minus a1 pi here you see pi available here pi available pi multiplied with the pi means i can get a1 pi square and the denominator also l here l have i have so that l square into sine pi x by l i got what happens with the second term here a to 3 pi available after that here also 3 pi available so if i multiply 3 pi into 3 pi i can get a 2 into 9 pi square divided by l into l i can get l square after that i can get sine 3 pi x by l which is the formula for d square y by dx square now i can move to the second page for the reason i clear the board now we can move to the second page in previous step i identified the d square y by dx square so that i can substitute the term with the strain energy u formula so u is equal to 
E I by 2 the integral of 0 to L d square y by dx square square whole square into dx which is the strain energy formula I determined d square y by dx square in previous board so I can substitute the values which is E I by 2 into integral of 0 to L d square y by dx square can be written as our previous step which is minus e1 pi square divided by l square into sin pi x by l minus a2 won't confuse in previous what i rubbed from this board you can refer that i so i rewrite 9 pi square divided by l square into sin 3 pi x by l whole square dx so i can simplify this term furthermore which is e i by 2 integral of 0 to l what happens i can multiply the minus with the whole term so i can rewrite the term with the e pi square by l square and sin by x by l here plus a2 9 pi square divided by l square into sin 3 pi x by l square I mean sorry square into dx which is the formula I got after that I can move to next step here I replace all the minus symbol with the plus now I can move to the next step which is what happens with the pi square the whole square yes if I squared the term pi square first I write uh, e i by 2 here the constant term in the both, both the first term here the second term a2 has in both the terms the common terms are available as like pi square by l square here also pi square by l square available so i can square both the term so here you see pi square by l square whole square can be written as like the pi power 4 divided by l power 4 the base is common square means i can right 2 into 2 is equal to 4 here also 2 into 2 is equal to 4 so pi pi over 4 divided by l power 4 likewise i got after that the terms 0 to l into here all the terms are a1 second term is a2 so here a1 square sine square pi x by l plus 9 is available if i square the 9 means i can get 81 a2 square means a2 square of that sine can be square so sine square 3 pi x by l the term here you see which can be written as like a plus b the whole square so that i can write the equation like this okay the the term which can be looking like a plus b the whole square which can be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab i place the formula so i write it here like this a1 square sin square pi x by l plus 81 into a square sin square 3 pi x by l after that what happened the third term is introduced because of 2ab available so here the numerical value first term does not have any numerical value but the second term has 9 so this 2 into this 9 i can get 18 so 18 a1 2 a into b both the term a1 here a2 available so that a1 a2 here the first term sin pi x by l the second term sin 3 pi x by l so here sin pi x by l into sin 3 pi x by l likewise i can write into dx so which is the form after i substituting 
d square y by dx square value in this equation and also i can implies a plus b the whole square form i can rewrite the total term here you see the three terms are available the first term is a1 square sin square by x by l the second term this 81 a2 square sin square 3 by x by l the third term this 18 a1 a2 sin by x by l sin 3 by x l i got so i can integrate individually the first term first second term second and third term thirdly so now i can drop the board and i can move the next step okay so what is the first term the first term is integral of a1 square sin square by x by l into dx this is the first term available to our previous okay so this term the limits are 0 to l according to our problem beam started from 0 and ended with the l the total span length of a given beam is l so that i can write here 0 to l which is the first term what i derived with the previous step now i can move the a1 square outside from the integration because it is, it is constant so a1 square 0 to l what happens sin square by x l if i differentiate sin square by x by l i can get the formula which is 1 by 2 into 1 i mean 1 minus cos 2 by x by l so i can substitute this form it into our available form so i can write here 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 2 by x by l into dx because the term okay after that i can move to next step which is equal to a1 square i write and 1 by 2 inside available so that i can pick the term outside so a1 square by 2 after that tail of 0 to l the balance terms which are 1 minus cos 2 pi x pi l available into dx so which is the form available with the previous step so now i can solve the problem again how yes here one available cos 2 by x by l available how do i integrate let's see here a1 square by 2 after that the first term is 1 so the integration can be done for 1 means 0 to l into dx 1 into dx after that minus integral 0 to l the cos 2 by x cos 2 by x by l into dx which is the second term available with our step after that what happens here you see in previous step a1 square by 2 yeah available so that i can write a1 square by 2 after that what happens integral of 0 to l with respect to dx means i can write here x within the limit of 0 to l so i integrate the dx so i got this after that what is the formula for cos 2 pi x by l with respect to x i integrate means i can get the general formula sine 2 pi x by l divided by 2 pi by l because if i integrate sine a by l means i can get I mean cos cos here cos a by l means i can get cos a by l divided by a by l which is the formula so that i write here sin 2 by x by l divided by 2 by by l within the limits of 0 to l so what about the next step i can substitute the values okay the upper limit and the lower limit with the considered equation so that first x i got so the common term a1 square by l i can rewrite after that what happens x and lower upper limit is l lower limit is 0 so that l minus 0 
after that minus what happens with our next step what are all the terms available here you see in that bottom yeah, denominator yeah, 2 pi pi l is available so that I can write here as like l by 2 pi I may convert this reciprocal from this I can get the opposite as like l by 2 pi into internal there is sin 2 pi x available if I substitute l value in this means sin 2 pi l divided by l minus the lower limit if I substitute there means sin 0 likewise I got okay after that here what is sin 2 pi the sin 2 pi sin 2 pi is equal to 0 and the sin 0 is equal to also 0 so what happens with this term next term I can write like this e1 square divided by 2 into here l minus 0 I can get l minus here l by 2 pi available so that l by 2 pi here the sign 2 pi is 0 so if I substitute 0 it means here means I can get 0 sin 0 is also 0 so that I can get here 0 so sin 0 0 from this I can get a uh, 1 square a 1 square into L divided by 2 because this whole term is converted it into 0 so what about the first term so now I solve the first term what is so first term is integral of 0 to L a1 square sin square pi x by L from this I got a1 square L divided by 2 likewise I got the answer for first term Okay, now all of you write with your notebook after that we can move to next second term now I can clear the board after clearing I can move to second term so now we can perform the second term operation so second term you see previous video 0 to L the second term is 81 a to square into sine square 3 pi x by L I got how can I simplify this in that 81 a square is the a2 I mean a2 is the common term so I pick the term outside so I can write as like 81 a2 square after that I may introduce the integral 0 to L in that what happens with the sine square pi x I mean pi x by L which means uh, this term can be written as, as like 1 minus cos 2 pi x by L so here I write 1 by 2 of 1 minus cos 6 pi x by L into dx yes which is the integral formula for sin square pi x ok so I can write here 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 6 pi x by L this is the formula after that I can move to next step in the step is equal to the common term 81 a square available inside of the integral there is 1 by 2 available so that 81 a 2 square divided by 2 likewise I can get after that inside of the integral there is one term available initially after that cos 6 pi x by L available so that first I do integrate 0 to L the 1 1 can be written as simply dx ok after that 0 to L the second term cos 6 pi x by L dx this is the form next step next we can move to solve the same with the 
integration so 81 is 2 square divided by 2 the first term integral of dx available so which can be written as like x 0 to l minus what happens with the cos 6 by x by l if I integrate means I can get uh, in previous step what happens with this uh, cos by x I told the same step here I follow so that cos 6 by x can be written as sin 6 by x by l divided by 6 pi by l likewise we can write after that we can substitute the lower limit on the upper limit lower limit is 0 upper limit is l now i can substitute the values here 81 a2 square divided by 2 available 18 2 if i substitute upper limit and the lower limit for x means i can get l minus 0 of that minus symbol available what happens in that denominator there is 6 pi by l available I can rewrite here the reciprocal which is L divided by 6 pi. Likewise, I can rewrite. Okay. After that, there is a sign 6 pi x by available. So, if I substitute L for upper limit for this x, I can get like a sign 6 pi L divided by L. If I substitute the lower limit on this equation means I can get uh, 0. 6 pi into 0 I can get 0. So here I can get minus sine of 0. Likewise I can get the values when I substitute the upper limit L and the lower limit 0 with the corresponding term. Now I can cancel this L term with this L term so that I can get uh, sin 6 pi. So now I can further move simplify 81 a2 square divided by 2 which means uh, here L minus 0 which is equal to L minus I can rewrite L by 6 pi here L by 6 pi here the sin 6 pi minus sine 0 likewise i can rewrite here what is uh, sine 6 pi sine 6 pi you may perform with your calculator also you may get 0 and what is sine 0 it is also equal to also 0 so that the term which can be written as like 81 a2 square divided by 2 into l minus 0 because the whole term is converted it into 0 so the whole term is 0 so i can get 81 a square by 2 so, so the second term i got like 81 a 2 square divided by 2 it into l so the second term i can write 0 to l 81 a 2 square sin square 3 pi x by l is equal to 81 a 2 square l by 2 which is the second term equation I got from the differentiation and integration with respect to the boundary conditions available with the beam. Next what happens we can move to the third step in third term I consider the third term so now I can drop the board I can move to third term what happens with the third term let's see third term from our formula is I can solve the previous step so I was 0 to L 18 A1 A2 into sine pi x by L into sine 3 pi x by L which is the form I got from the previous step. Now I can move the constant from the integral outwards so that 18 a1 a2 integral of 0 to L sin by x by L into sin 3 by x by L dx. Likewise, I got okay. So, next step I can move 
I can rearrange the terms in our next step, which is 18 A1 A2 0 to L here sine 3 pi x by L and sine pi x by L into dx. Likewise, I can write okay. Then next, I can move to the next step, I can integrate all the terms. So, what happens with this? Here, you see, I can utilize one formula. I consider this the sign A, and this term, second term is sign B. So, what is sign A into sign B? The formula, the formula A is cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b whole divided by 2 which is the formula for sin 3 pi x by l and the sin pi x by l so what happens here you see i can rewrite the total function it into 18 a1 a2 the integral of 0 to l the common 1 by 2 i can move this uh, 1 by 2 outwards so that 1 by 2 into 2 cos here what is the term a a is 3 pi x by l so that 3 pi x minus b what is the b pi x okay whole divided by l just the form available after that minus cos of 3 pi x plus pi x by l which is the formula available with the sin a sin b formula into the x is the next step after that furthermore i can simplify the term after that i can simplify the term I can move this 1 by 2 outwards so that this is equal to 18 a1 a2 divided by 2. What happens here cos 3 pi x minus pi x I can get uh, 2 pi x so I can write 0 to L cos 2 pi x by L into dx minus here what happens here you see 3 pi x plus pi x available so minus integral of 0 to l cos 4 pi x by l into dx likewise i got if i integrate the cos 2 pi x by l means already in previous step we did okay the same thing okay it can be converted into sine to pi x by l whole divided by 2 pi by l likewise we can integrate the term okay so how can i write yes 18 a1 a2 divided by 2 if i integrate the first term i can get like a sine 2 pi x by l divided by 2 pi by l in the limits of 0 to L minus what about the second yes here also cos 4, 4 pi x by L available so that which can be integrated as like sin 4 pi x by L divided by 4 pi by L the integral limits of 0 to L likewise I can integrate the terms then I can move to next step in this step the 18 by 2 which can be written as like 9 so that uh, 9 a1 a2 after that what is the sine 2 pi sine 2 pi is equal to 0 and the sine 4 pi is also equal to 0 and uh, sin 0 is equal to 0 this is the form you should memorize after that i can substitute here the terms what is sin 2 pi x sin 2 pi is 0 and sin 4 pi also 0 so the total term is converted it into 0 so 9 a1 a2 here the 0 
minus 0 which is is equal to 0 so the third term the third term is 0 to L 18 a1 a2 sin 5x by L into sin 3 pi x by L into dx which is equal to 0 I got for the third term after that what happens to substitute the three terms first term second term and the third term with our initial strain equation what happens let's see here you see the substitute substitute the identify the substitute first term and the second term and the third term on the U equation, the strain energy equation. What happens? Let's see. Already we solved U is equal to E i by 2 pi power 4 divided by L power 4 into A1 square the sine pi x by L plus 81 a2 square sine square 3 pi x by L plus 18 a1 a2 into sine pi x by L into sine 3 pi x by L. Likewise, we got it into dx. Likewise, in our previous step, got what happens? Yes, here we can simplify the term which is equal to E i by 2 into pi power 4 divided by L power 4. What uh, we identify for A1 square sine pi x in first term, we got as like A1 square L divided by 2. What about the second term for 81 into a over 2 square? For the reason we may get uh, 81 a 2 square L divided by 2. And the third term, third term we identified as 0. Likewise I can substitute from this. I can get the equation as like uh, E i by 2 into pi power 4 divided by L power 4 here the common term L by 2 available and the second term also L by 2 available so that I can make L by 2 outside from the equation after that what is the balance term if I remove the L by 2 from A1 means in the R, A1 square only available after that what about in second term if I remove the L by 2 means in that 81 a2 square only available so that 81 a2 square so this is the strain energy so the strain energy i got from the equation which is u is equal to e i 2 plus 2 altering a 2 available here also 2 available so that 2 plus 2 4 here l power 4 here l available if i remove means i can get pi power 3 so pi power 4 divided by l cube into a1 square plus 81 a2 square likewise i got which is the function of strain energy i got from these uh, derivatives so now identified the strain energy but the formula has us like pi is equal to u minus h now I identify the U and then I go for identify the H value. How can I identify the H value? For the reason I erase the board, I can move to the next step. How do I, I identify the H value? So H value is um, work done by external force. So how can I identify yes? The general formula for identifying the H is equal to integral of 0 to L into W Y dx. As looking like a 
Galerkin equation, isn't it? So now we can solve the problem. It is 0 to L W into Y. I identified the approximate value form from the previous step. So I can put A1 into sin by X by L plus A, I mean A2 sin 3 by X by L into dx we got so now i can move to simplify the total terms which is equal to w i can move the constant term w outside from the integral of the 0 to l into a1 sine by x by l plus a2 into sine 3 by x by l into dx so this form can be written as like uh, W integral of 0 to L and uh, I can move the term A1 outside. So I can write this W outside after that A1 I pick from the A1 sin by XL so that integral of sin by X by L plus I can move the A2 outside so that A2 0 to L here sin 3 by X by L into dx sister from next step so now I further try to simplify the term so here this is equal to W I took outside so that W what happens here a1 what is sin by x by l if i integrate sin by x l i got minus cos by x by l divided by pi by l the limit of 0 to l plus a2 into sin 3 pi xl if I integrate means minus cos 3 pi x by l divided by 3 pi by l into the integrals of the limits of 0 to l likewise I can try integrate the terms after that now can move c is equal to w into minus I took minus outside so that uh, minus a1 this l by pi i take outside so that a1 l divided by pi into cos pi x by l which is 0 to l after that minus here the minus available here plus available so minus into plus i got minus minus a2 here also l 3 by by l available if i get outside means i can get a2 l divided by 3 pi into cos 3 by x by l the limits of 0 to l so which can be written as like w into if i substitute the upper limits and the lower limits into that i can get 2 a1 l divided by pi a1 a1 plus 2 a2 l divided by 3 pi likewise i got the answer because cos 0 is equal to 0 cos pi is equal to minus 1 here cos 3 pi is equal to minus 1 if i substitute the corresponding values on the x means i can get this equation 2 a1 l pi pi plus 2 a2 l pi pi 3 pi likewise i can get so now further i can simplify the term which is equal to 2 w l i can write with the, our next board okay so i clear now you may understand the line so i can easily move to the next board so the term h can be written as like h is equal to 
2 wl divided by pi into a1 plus a2 by 3 which is the h equation I got. After identifying this u and h, I substitute with the potential energy which is equation which is pi is equal to u minus h. From this I can get e i what is the u formula i identified you referred our video in previous u e i pi power 4 divided by 4 l cube into a 1 square plus 81 a 2 square minus what we got with the h yes h is equal to minus 2 w l divided by pi into a 1 plus a 2 by 3 likewise we got so, if I want to simplify this means the condition should be satisfied this condition in this step we should consider the conditions the conditions are according to the problem we are having the two x constants which is a1 and a2 so we can differentiate 2 pi by 2 a1 which is equal to 0 similarly 2 pi by 2 a2 which is also equal to 0 we should consider those terms so what happens the 2 pi by 2 a1 with the available equation let's see 2 pi by 2 a1 which is equal to here the common term e i pi power 4 divided by 4 to l cube i wrote the same what about uh, the next uh, here a1 square only i can in differentiate because a1 a2 square is not having any a1 term so this term can be written as like uh, 2 into a1 so i substitute this term it into 2 here 2 i can convert after that i can get 2 wl divided by i mean sorry here minus this term 2 wl by pi available a1 plus a2 by 3 available so if i differentiate the term a1 means i got 1 so this term is 2 wl available this is equal to 0 this is the condition after that uh, e i pi power 4 divided by 4 l cube into 2a1 which is, is equal to 2wl okay likewise i can write now i can move to identify the a1 with this term what happens here you see l cube for 2wl into 4l cube i can get uh, like 4 w l power 4 okay after that i can get e i divided by e i pi power 4 because this 2 under this 2 is cancelled so e i into pi power 5 i got okay i mean pi power 4 i got okay likewise we can differentiate the equation with respect to e1 after that i can move to next step i clear the board i can move okay now i got the e1 what about the e2 yes in the equation the second condition is dou phi by dou a2 which is also equal to 0 so the term e i pi power 4 divided by 4 l cube available into 162 a2 minus 2 w l divided by pi into 1 by 3 is equal to 0 i differentiate the terms with respect to a2 so that i got this after that uh, this term can be written as like e i pi power 4 divided by 4 l cube into 162 a2 which is equal to 2 w l divided by pi into 1 by 3 okay next uh, From this we can identify the A2. A2 is equal to 2 WL divided by what happens here 3 by available so that which can be written as like 3 by 
into I can move cross multiply 4 L cube here I got 4 L cube divided by what happens 162 into 2 here you see what happens here to see the 2 W available to okay I can form here 162 into E I by power 4 I got so if now this 2 and the 162 I cancel from this I can get 81 81 into 3 what happens this equation can be written as 4 W L power 4 because here L available here L cube available so if I multiply L cube into L I got L power 4 divided by 81 into 3 I got 243 EI by power 5 Likewise, we got after that A2 can be easily written as like A2 W L power 4 divided by 243 EI pi power 5. Likewise, we got okay. After that, I move to next step for the reason I cleared the board. In that, uh, now we may know the value of A1 and A2. I identified A1 and A2. The a1 and a2 I substitute with the approximate function which is y is equal to a1 uh, sin phi x by l plus a2 sin 3 phi x by l. In that already I identified a1 value and the a2 value so I can easily substitute a1 value as like w l power 4 divided by e into i into phi cube into sin by x by l plus a2 i identified as like 4 w l power 4 divided by 243 e i into pi power 5 into sin 3 pi x by l likewise i got the equation what is the next step yes y max where the y max occurred where is the maximum deflection occurs on the simply supported beam with the uniform distributed load yes you see the center portion the center portion only maximum deflection occurs which means the total beam length is 0 to l here 0 here l so what is the center point which is l by 2 so maximum deflection y maximum y is the deflection y maximum occurs at x equal to l by 2 so i substitute the x with the x l by 2 so w l power 4 divided by e i pi cube into sin pi into L by 2 divided by L what I got x equal to L by 2 if I substitute I got like this plus 4 W L power 4 divided by 243 EI pi power 5 into sine 3 pi by 2 from this what happens sine pi here L L available so I can easily negligible L L and 3 pi by 2 available what happens this equation can be written as like uh, here sorry here one term I missed this is 4 WL4 so that here 4 so what happens yes 4 W L power 4 divided by e i pi power 5 into sin pi by 2 plus 4 w l power 4 divided by the i recall the term 243 e i pi power 5 into what happens here also sin 3 pi by 2 likewise i got okay what is the next step? Yes. Also. 
L by 2. So 3 by 2, sin 3 by 2 I got. If I substitute x bar L by 2, I got sin 3 by 2. Okay. So now I can move to identify next step, which is 4 W L power 4 divided by E I into pi power plus 4 w l power 4 divided by 2 43 e i pi power 5 likewise we got now i can move the term w 4 w l power 4 divided by e i to pi power 5 common the outside from this 1 minus 1 by 2 43 i got from this we can get 4 W L divided by E I pi power 5 is into 0 0.9958. From this I can simplify I got Y maximum after completing this step I got Y maximum as like 0 0.0130 W L power 4 divided by E I. The exact solution of the beam is uh, Pi by what my beam may refer the book 384 into W L power 4 divided by E I. From this, if I compare both the things, the same equation I got. So, which is the procedure I followed for identify the A1 and A2 Riggs constant, and I can compare the exact solution with the approximate solution. Now I move to identify the bending moment for the reason I clear the board. Now I can move to bending moment identification. What is the formula for bending moment? Yes. Bending moment can be identified with the m is equal to v i d square y by d x square. In this also, what is d square y by d x square? In previous step we identified. So we can identify the terms from this we can get the pending moment after simplification we may get the pending moment as like 0 0.124 w l square okay which is the pending moment we got the beam problem we can compare this the exact solution which is W L square divided by 8. From this we can compare and propose the best result.